Hey everyone, this is Heidi Gusted with another knitting tutorial. In this video, we are going to tackle the purl three together stitch, which is a double decrease in knitting. On my needle here, I have a few rows of stockinette stitch worked. So knit on one side, purl on the other, and I am now on the purl side of my work. To work a purl three together, which is a double decrease in knitting, um, we are going to do just like what we would do for a purl two together, except we're working with three stitches. And so since this is a double decrease, a purl three together takes our stitch count down by two stitches instead of just one like if we were working a purl two together. So let's show you how this works. I'm just gonna slip the first stitch of my row just so I have something to frame out this purl three together. Next, what I'm gonna do is purl these three stitches together. So with the working yarn towards our body or in front of our work, we're going to insert the right hand needle into the front of all three of these loops, one, two, three. Then we'll yarn over and draw that loop all the way back through all three stitches. So we're purling into all three of those at the same time and we'll sweep the whole mess off. So now we have worked all three stitches together as one, reducing that stitch count by two because three minus two is one. So let me finish this row and show you what the other side looks like. So we work a purl three together on the wrong side of our work and when we do that, it looks just like a knit three together does on the right side of our work. So again, we do the purl three together on the purl side or the wrong side of our work, but on the right side, this is a right leaning decrease that looks just like a knit three together. So those two look the same on the right side, but are worked differently because you're on either the wrong side or the right side, if you follow me there. So let's knit across this row and then we'll get to the other side and I'll show you one more time how to work that purl three together. This double decrease is great because like I said earlier, it's worked just like a purl two together, but it's just worked over three loops. Um, so it saves you some time and a lot of fiddling on um, your decrease because sometimes double decreases can be rather complicated. All right, so we're back to the wrong side again. I'm gonna slip that first stitch like I did before just to frame out this decrease. Then we're going to insert the right hand needle into the front of all three of these loops, yarn over, draw that loop back through, and we have worked another purl three together. If we take a look at my swatch here, you can see how all of these purl three togethers lean toward the right on the right side of our work, and they kind of um, rest a little bit stuck out from the body of the stockinette stitch in our swatch right here. A purl three together is really easy to work if you've ever worked a purl two together stitch. And don't forget that on the right side of your work when you work a purl three together, it looks just like the right side of a knit three together. If you have any questions for us, go ahead and let us know in the comments and tune in again soon for even more knitting video tutorials. Mm -hmm.